<sighs> hey everybody. Getting myself situated. Hey Clarice, good evening. It is okay if I shout you out, right? Because I mean you join every week. Hey, cousin Nikki, how are you? Let me know I can hear you or you can hear me. Hey, Alicia, how are you? A couple of my sorority sisters. Hey, Tim. Saw you was kicking it. Hey, sugars, how are you? So I try to listen to you to make sure that I give you notice when I'm joining. So my apologies. Uh, this is normally, I usually do this um, about five-ish my time. But we had so much going on today. Um, let me see. I can't even tell you. You know, back to school is coming. It kind of sneaks up on you when you have children. And my children start in about four weeks, five weeks. And, you know, I'm going through all this stuff and realize that they've grown out of all of their clothes. Thank God they have uniforms. So I had to do that today. And what else happened? The daughter has started her testing prep for boarding school. I told y'all I'm not even happy about none of that. So that test prep is about 60 hours of work. That started today. Uh, what else? Just a lot going on on Mondays. I don't, I don't know. I just a lot going on. I, I can't even blah, blah, blah. Mondays suck. And I, I don't have a job right now. <laughs> so for those of you that actually get up, get dressed and go to work, bless your hearts. I, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for all of you. Uh, so I hope you had a great weekend. As usual, I, I do my normal begging stuff. Please always subscribe, share with your friends, A Tribe Called Good Men on YouTube. Um, I'm still on my pursuit to get um, a thousand subscribers. So I really would appreciate it if you would forward, if you like what you hear. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I did. You know, the weather is starting to break here in the Midwest. You know, we only get summer for about 10 days. <laughs> so we were able to take um, our babies out to the pool. Last week, oh, one of my sorority sisters joined and I make her laugh because she has this, she's beautiful, just a sidebar, beautiful complexion. It's beautiful. Like one of those sun-kissed Caribbean, she's Caribbean, Caribbean skin tone. Y'all know what I'm talking about because some of us are Caribbean. And so whenever I see her, I have this Nino Brown, pretty mother, mm, whenever I see her. So she just joined. So I wanted to say hi. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Teachers are joining. Thank you so much for participating. So back to what I was saying, had a great weekend, took the kids out to the pool. Um, we went to an annual luau. We go every year. We look forward to it. Um, some friends of ours give this huge luau in their backyard. And we get there about 2 p.m., and we normally don't leave till 2 a.m. Just to tell you how much of a lituation it is for adults. We leave the kids at home. This is the first year that we decided to Uber or Lyft or whatever. We're like, we can't drive because normally we're trying, the reason we stay as long as we do is because we're trying to sober up so we can get home. You know, that whole white knuckle, 10 and two, drive real slow, eyes this wide. <laughs> so this year we said, we're not even gonna do that. We're gonna Uber, it'll be worth the cost. It's so lit that when you get there, you have to take a shot, okay? Plenty of drink, plenty of food, everything's open bar. It's just a great time. We had so much fun. We go every year. Um, there's only been two times where we couldn't go. Um, one, when our one of our children, our son, I told you was epileptic. He'd had started having seizures, so we didn't want to be too far from home. Um, the other was last year um, when we were dealing with some health challenges with my father-in-law. We were actually in Philadelphia caring for him. Hey, Ellis, how are you? Um, and so this year, we go every year so much so that <laughs> when we took our children to Disney World two years ago, we were coming back the day of the luau. And I called the host and said, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to go because we're coming back from vacation. The husband was like, huh, <laughs> we're going to the luau. Them kids ain't going to be thinking about us. They could take a nap. We're going to take a nap. We're going to go. And we went. So we go. It's a fun time. Uh, when, when you get there, you're, you're upright. You're, you're walking upright. When you leave, you're not. You're leaning. <laughs> you're leaning like this. And you warn people, look, I'm, see how happy I am right now? I'm going to be happier later. You know, leaning like this. To the point where yesterday, <laughs> so it was Saturday. Yesterday, 
I'm talking to the husband and all of a sudden I say, hey, did I give you a lap dance at the luau? <laughs> he said, uh-huh. I said, you was cool? Everything was cool? He's like, it was great. Oh, okay. So that's the kind of stuff that happens, kind of like Vegas. I, I can tell my business, but I won't tell anybody else's. But that's kind of just what goes down at, at that moment. Don't judge me. You're judgeress. I'm married. I, I was lap dancing my husband. So just, okay, don't. I told you my marriage is blessed, blessed. It's blessed. So, you know, whatever. Hey, uh oh, hey, yummy. Can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, but that's not why. Oh, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is my workout regimen. So I'm very proud of myself. Last week was the first week that I worked out for six days out of the seven. So I'm very, very proud of myself. Normally I do three to five, but last week I was on a mission. I was like, I can do it. It's not going to be difficult. So I've actually put together a workout routine, workout routine. So I want to share it with you because that'll make me accountable in my, in my mind. That'll make me accountable for what I'm saying to you. Because if I say it aloud, then that means I have to do it. So Monday evenings, just today, I take a spinning class. So it's a spinning class on Mondays. Tuesdays, I is my long, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my longer days. So my spinning class is 45 minutes, you know. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I take a weight lifting class, you know, all the muscle groups. And then I'll take uh, maybe 30, 45 minutes doing some kind of cardio. So maybe an elliptical, treadmill, stair climber. So I'm usually at the gym or doing something exercise-ish for about 90 minutes to two hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wednesday is just cardio. So I might do we have I have an elliptical in the house. I might get on that and watch TV for an hour, or I might go running. As I told you, Thursday and Tuesdays are my weightlifting days plus cardio. And then Friday I take this class um, that encompass it's like a hit class, you know, the high impact intensity training class. I do that for about 40 minutes on Fridays. Yeah, I know this makes you happy, Alicia. Be quiet. And then Saturday, I usually join a running group. I think I told you this before, Black Girls Run. I usually go to that. And if I can't get to that, then I'll go running at the gym on the treadmill. Okay, so that's what I do. Hey, Tiki. Um, so that was my workout regimen. I stuck to it all last week. Pretty proud of myself. But here's the thing. When you go to the gym, there are certain instructors that are your favorites right? They're people you know, people that you've gone to a couple of things. What, Clarissa, where do I have time? Girl, I don't work. I just told you I don't work. I just told you. But all of these classes, for the most part, are during lunch from like 12 to 1. The Monday class is in the evening, and then Saturday is early in the morning, and Friday is early in the morning. But that's really, most of them are during lunchtime. That's my time to work out on calories. So I have people. I have instructors that I like, instructors that I love, right? And you know, you go to these classes and you decide what instructors you like. So I have a person for weightlifting. I have a person, actually two people for cycling, uh, spinning. I have a person for that Friday class, okay? Now that Friday class is only taught Friday mornings at 6 a.m. You heard me, Friday morning at 6 a.m. It starts at 6 a.m. So that means I got to get up at like 5.15 a.m. in the morning mm -hmm. so I can make it to this class. So if I get there and there's a sub, I, I got an attitude because <laughs> I got up for my person, not for the sub, for the person. That pisses me off. I don't know who this person is. I don't know if they're going to teach like you. I, you know, I have a routine. And I, I don't like, I might not like your sub. And more times than not, I don't. I don't like your subs. So I don't go. Now, I'm annoyed if that happens on a Friday morning at 6 a.m., right? Because I got up to go see my person, right? Okay. So not this week because I had a great week, you know, this past week. The week before, I told you I have two people for spinning, 
right? One person for that Friday class, mm, one person for the weightlifting, right? So the spinning person is on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So if I don't make running, I'll go to that spinning class. I bring the husband with me. I was like, hey, let's go together. You know, you and I can go together. So unlike him, he's matchy matchy. He's geranimals when he goes to the gym. He said he, it makes him feel better. I don't care what I look like when I go to the gym. First of all, I got a man, okay? So I'm not there to impress anybody. Second of all, my clothes are clean, okay? They're clean. And third of all, I'm just trying to get in and get out. I'm not trying to talk to people. If I don't know you, I'm not speaking because I'm on a mission. I'm about my business, okay? So we go because I'm hyped because my person's going to be there. It's a 9 a.m. class. It's Saturday. It was raining. That's why I didn't run. We walk in. I didn't even go in. I look in. So my person for spinning is a girl, a woman, female, a chick. I walk in. It's a dude, a bro, a man. That's not, that's not who I wanted to see. I don't know him. When I tell you, I literally walked it, turned right back around, walked out. I don't know you. you I don't know you. I, I don't know you. And I probably won't like you. So I left. Now, here's the problem with that particular scenario. When I'm coming to the gym for a certain thing, I don't bring other things for my gym. So, and I'll give you a really good example. If I am running, I have to wear different shoes. Because those of you that run know that over time, if you're running a distance, your feet swell. So your running shoes are different than your normal workout shoes. They're usually about a size, size and a half bigger. Okay. I have overpronation, which means my feet, if you can see, kind of do this when I run. So they have to be stable. So it's a different shoe altogether. I didn't bring that shoe because I didn't plan on running. I planned on spinning. Didn't plan on running. What I also did not bring was my headset because when I run, I have to run to certain kinds of music, preferably my ratchet playlist. My ratchet playlist is the list that makes me feel like I'm a stripper in this body so that I look good when I run. Everybody knows that it, it has very vulgar songs on it so that I can run and feel like I'm on a pole somewhere. Don't judge me. That's just what motivates me. So I don't have my playlist, I don't have it, I don't have my headphones so I can listen to a said ratchet playlist and I don't have my shoes. So I can't get on, I can't run, right? I can't get on the elliptical, I can't get on the Stairmaster because I don't have my headsets to listen to music or podcasts. I don't have any of that. I don't care about the stupid ESPN, CNN thing that they have on the screen at the gym. That's not what motivates me. I have to be motivated, okay? So I can't have any of that stuff. So if I don't have my headsets and I don't have the right shoes, what do you do? You leave. I left. I left. I know it was nine o'clock. There were other things. This is a huge gym. There were other things that I could have been doing, but I didn't have the right equipment. I didn't have the right utensils. I didn't have the right stuff so that I could work out and enjoy my workout. You know what I told the husband? Let's go to breakfast. So it was breakfast. We went to a very nice place. You know what I had? I had, I, I feel good. I had a very sensible breakfast. I had a egg white omelet with lots of vegetables to compensate for the fact that I didn't work out right then and there. What I said to the husband was, I'll work out later. I'll go get my shoes and my Walkman. I don't even have a Walkman no more, sorry. My headset, because that's what I was thinking. My headset, and I'll go running, which is what I did later that day. Because of course you got to let the egg white omelet digest. You can't go like right away after that. So. We're at a very nice place. <laughs> We're not even like at a diner. We're at a nice place and I work out clothes. Remember, I was, my plan was to spin. So when I spin, I have to wear spinning, I have them on now, spinning pants. They got a little padding because I don't want to chafe. See that word? Chafe. I don't want to do that. And not only do I have the pants, the padded pants, I also have the seat. Right. I don't know why, for those of you, that are not my hue or my complexion. Forgive me what I'm about to say. I don't know how y'all can get on that seat and not chafe. I don't understand how you could do that. I have issues. So I need both the padded pants and both the padded seat. I need both of them. I need the duo combo. I need them both in order for me to do that. Okay? So I took my padded pants 
and we went to this very nice restaurant. And I and remember, I don't match. So I probably look homeless, but my money spends, so I don't care. My money spends. The husband looked very nice in his workout clothes because he matched, because he had his Garanimal gear on. I did not. I did not match. I looked homeless. I probably had on a shirt with a hole in it. I don't care. My money spends the same. My debit card still works. It works. I don't care. So I had an egg white omelet with vegetables in it. And I ran later. But my point to this story, this is my point. The husband tried to get loud. Not really loud, but you know, he was like, listen, just bring all of your stuff when you work out so you have a plan B. No, I, I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? I, I don't want to do that. If I'm planning to work out with the thing, because I just told you all I have a regimented schedule, I should work out with the regimented schedule. If I don't have that, I'm going home. I'm going to go home. That's what I'm going to do. I have an elliptical. I'll watch TV. I'm fine. I'll go running. I'll go get my stuff. I'm, I'm not going. So he, he copped a little attitude with me. I was like, you can stay. I'll come back and get you. I'm going to breakfast. That's because I'm hungry now. Because now, <laughs> now I have an attitude because my person wasn't there. And, and now I have, to, I have to go eat. I have to drown my sorrows in an egg white omelet with lots of vegetables and chicken sausage. It was very good. Very, very good. So um, now what I do is I have their, <laughs> this is really bad. I have, we're Facebook friends, all of my people. So now they're required to give me a heads up. Yo, you're going to be in class tomorrow? Because if you're not going to be there, I'm going to make other arrangements. For real, particularly that 6 a.m. Friday class, if you're not going to be there, you need to tell me because I'm not coming. I'm not getting out of my bed for some sub. Why would I do that? That You know what that's like? That's like going to um, an NBA game and the only people playing are the folks that are on the bench. You didn't come that you came to see whoever, right? LeBron, Curry, you know, whoever. I don't want to see the 17th man. I don't want to see him. I, I, I don't want to see him. I don't care. I don't care what you say. So I, I just had to get that off my chest. Shut up, Alicia. See my friend? She, she's a trainer. That's why she's talking trash. That, that's how I feel. I would feel some kind of way if there was no people there. I, I feel that, hey, hey, I got to do what's right for me <laughs> so that I stay motivated. Come on. Like, can you? I will be hot. And that's happened before. It wasn't his fault. Didn't know he was sick. He's sick. And I'm there. And I'm not a morning person at all. And I'm not working. So you know, I'm just getting up for this class. And I roll up and you're not there? I'm not, listen, what, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna stand there and go to, I'm not coming to this class. I'm leaving, I'm going home. I'm going home. And then if it's the winter time and it's cold, see now you can't go back to sleep because it's cold. You know, you done been out shivering. It gets cold here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna try real hard to go back to bed. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna lay in the bed mad. Oh, I'm going to go get something to eat. It's one or the other. <laughs> it, it can't be just me. Are there some people here? Look, see? Yep, Tiki. I, listen, I, I'm out. If you're not my people, I'm not staying. I got people. I got people at the gym. That's why I go, right? Isn't that why you go? For fellowship and camaraderie. And to, Now, I don't speak to people. I'm, I'm going to be totally honest. I don't even... I don't even these instructors, most of them don't even know that they're my people because <laughs> I don't speak to them. <laughs> I, I do not talk to them. I come in, I say good morning, I say thank you. That's it. I don't say nothing else. I, I don't have nothing else to say because I'm winded. I'm winded. Okay? I'm winded. There's nothing to say. My lung is in my hand. They don't even know that they're my people, but they're my people. I'm not coming back. I'm not. Mm -mm. And if you do it too many times... I might write a letter and complain. I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> getting a letter? And they're like, I don't even know her. What's her name? Because I don't even introduce myself. I sit on the little bike. I move. I sweat. I wipe the, the towel off. And it's a little color-coded thing. So my goal is to get in the red zone. I'm red. I'm red. Sometimes I'm yellow. I'm red. I get off. I stretch. Do what they tell me. I stretch. I do all of that. Wipe off, spray and disinfect. I said, thank you. Take my towel and I'm out. I'm out. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's all I got. I know I'm not the only one. I just wanted to share. So number one, I wanted to be accountable. So when y'all catch me on Facebook and go, Lisa, did you run? Did you spin? Did you weight lift? Did you do? 
I'm going to be honest. I'll say, yay, or I'm going to tell you to shut up and get out my business <laughs> as I'm eating a cupcake. <laughs> Don't judge me. Do not judge. It's going to be one of those things, but my goal here is to be accountable. The other thing is um, my goal. I don't know if y'all know this. You can really tell in my forehead. Um, I'm trying to be Chick-fil-A color. I'm still red from the gym. Can you tell? That's the other thing. This is when people question my ethnicity is that when I'm, when I'm working out, I, I flush. This is what happens. This is not a hot flash. This is me flushing, trying to cool off <laughs> from said workout. So I'm waiting for my color, my hue to turn back. But I've also been at the pool. So my goal, most of you know, my complexion is honeysuckle beige with a hint of rose in my cheeks. That is my skin tone. But in the summer, I like to be Chick-fil-A color. Be quiet, Clarice. Chick-fil-A color. That's the color I like to be. The color of the chicken in Chick-fil-A. So that's my goal. I'm getting there. My goal is to, is to work on my tan because I know some of you are, are thinking you, you have no color, but I promise you I was lighter than this. I promise you I was. So just hold your girl's spirit. Pray for melanin as I pray for y'all. <laughs> I hope you have a great week. Mwah. Love you guys. I thank you so much for listening to me, Red. Hope you're getting your workout and your health together too. Please, I'll ask that you say some prayers for some folks. I have a friend who's on Facebook who tragically lost her husband at the age of, I believe, 53, 54. Um, they found out he had been sick um, for about three years. And so he fought hard. So I ask that you say a prayer. Um, and then a couple of my other friends have lost loved ones over the last week or so. Um, mother member of our church um, also passed away this week. So we are getting at that age, folks. So I ask that you pray. Pray for one another. Pray for health and strength. If you're not working out, do something, move something. I'm trying. I hope you're trying to. I hope this encourages you a little bit. Um, but I love y'all. And I will talk to you soon. Remember, Tribe Called Goodman, YouTube, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Love y'all so much. And I'll talk to you. Bye-bye. Maybe I'll go have Chick-fil-A today. <laughs>